Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint the front and the right side of this house. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because I'm going to be showing you all the details of how you can transform the siding to look from this to this really nice and beautiful brand new painted. It's a cedar wood siding and I'm going to show you all the details here in a bit. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman DIY projects, including home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any videos that we're going to be uploading in the future. I believe this house that you see right here was built back in 1906 or 1907, so it's a little over 100 years old. It has that really old cedar wood siding and the only way that we're going to be able to remove all of that chip paint is by using these wire brushes we have two yellow hand brushes and then we have a few of the red ones that you can attach to like a pole and that's basically what we're doing right here on this back side of the of the house it gets a lot of the weather it's really exposed so it you know it, it looks pretty bad with all of the the painting that has peeled off so the best way to remove this you could pressure wash it but since the wood it's really poor condition we did not want to damage it and make it worse so the best way is to just basically get one of these scrapers that it's like metal really hard and you just scrape it back and forth up and down and just trying to remove as much of the loose and peeled off paint as possible I tried to use one of those face covers but it was fogging up so um, the other thing that we're also taking care of is covering up all the windows now for this you only need to put the tape and the plastic on the face of the framing of the windows and then on the on all along the sides we're putting some caulking um, you know I, I don't know it's been maybe like ton, many years since somebody has done maintenance to this house so all the caulking and everything it was just really worn out and and it needed a refresher so in order to apply the masking it's pretty straightforward we have a hand masker right there we start off at the top and then on either side we just have a little roll of, t of blue tape and we're just taping it on the face of the trim around the window and once you do that around four sides that's pretty much it and the rest it can be painted not a problem especially because because later we're going to go ahead and, and paint the trim with a hand brush or with a roller. Now, due to this siding, it's super rough texture. We're going to be using a Graco uh, paint sprayer. We have the X5 Magnum model. We found that this one, it's perfect. The reason is because it's really inexpensive. I think it only costs us around $350 definitely let me know like in your area i hope it's the same price like nationwide but it could vary from you know um whatever side of the state you're in or uh, the country but um yeah we you know we basically put that into directly into the five gallon bucket and we use basically like one and a half buckets for um the front and the right side of this house uh, we noticed in some areas after we sprayed it that it was still you could still see some of the wood exposed so we had to actually like apply it twice so we did it the first time we waited for it to dry um, I think after lunch um, then we came back in and did a visual inspection and um, applied it a second time wherever it was needed but we have one of those little paint guards that you see with the handle those come in super handy I definitely recommend for you to get one and uh, it helps you so that way you can cover up like areas so you don't have overspray um, at the bottom or on the sides or even at the top um, and it's yeah it's perfect and yeah basically we're just starting to paint this house little by little we the customer you know he didn't have the exact paint for the house but we, we took a sample to our local box store and they were able to give us like a really close color match like you see right here on the left side as we're starting to paint it's not exactly the same as what the house used to be but it's super close you know and then at the very end I mean you can't even tell 
and honestly it looks super great you know once we painted all of this house and um, it has that really nice green new paint um, you couldn't even tell the difference you know what it was before and honestly the customer was super happy on the results but um, you know right here we're painting all of the poles and the um, you know like the little utility boxes and the gutters and all that just to kind of make it blend into the siding area and that's something that you can do it's definitely uh, save you a lot of time you know so you don't have to like wrap all of that piping you can just simply paint over it and it will match but that's pretty much the results after we painted the first time around all of this house like you see this was the area that was super bad with the peeled out paint and it looks like brand new so that's uh, honestly the best way how you can transform a house and we did all of this in one day um, and now you know the same day we're able to remove all of the the um, the masking the tape and paper and everything and we're just giving it a hand brush on all the trim with a dark green color so and that's pretty much it so that we're doing the same thing here on the front uh, as we're covering up the windows we're painting on the on the side we, we were just working like double time you know like getting it as done as efficiently as we can that's the way how you can get it done in one day we basically started like early in the morning and uh, just started to cover up all the areas scraping all the paint getting everything ready and just started to paint like by 10 or 11 and uh by like lunchtime we had most of it done and then from there we had a nice lunch and we just came back and just did whatever was needed and over here you know the fascia board it's kind of tall you have to get a few ladders up there uh, we also um, basically like tied a, a brush to a pole that was on an extension and then that's how we were able to get all the way to the peak of the fascia board but those are the little tricks, you know, that you learn as you go. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just basically get some um, duct tape or something and wrap it around the pole. And you can get yourself all the way up there. But that's pretty much the results. The final results after we painted this whole house from the side with the trim around the windows. Like you see everything, it just looks amazing. Brand new, refreshed look and color all through the side uh, painting the trim the fascia board everything else was painted the same color as the house so it definitely blends in and um, yeah honestly it came out great you know uh, this is something that you can do yourself on an older house doesn't matter if you have this kind of a cedar wood uh, siding or if you have the, the newer vinyl style either way will work I highly recommend for you to get like a, a sprayer I'll definitely leave a couple links in the description of um, like paint sprayers we have one that's like handheld electrical that has like a little canister that you screw onto it at the bottom um, that one's great for like smaller projects since this one here it's more of a larger one I definitely recommend for you to get like at least that x5 sprayer if not one that's a little bit um, bigger but I, like I said, that one, I, we love it because it's super inexpensive. I think this is like the fifth project that we've painted with it. So it's definitely like worth the money and um, it, it will, you know, it will make you tons of money as well. So that's pretty much it. You know, the results from start to finish of how you can paint the front and the right side of the house. On a different day, we're going to come back and do some deck work, staining the deck and painting the left side and the back side. So please stay tuned, you know, for future videos. Um, hit the like button. Let us know if you have any questions. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell. So that way you don't miss out on any videos. May God bless you and I'll see you on the next project.